So I am just on my way to Cosmetic Avenue. I'm so excited. Uh, these are my go-to place for my injectables. So I am getting anti-wrinkle done, which I love. I had it for the first time last year and fell in love. Um, and then I might be getting a little lip top up as well, maybe just half a meal, just to get ready for show day and all my photo shoots and things like that. But they are freaking amazing. So hopefully I can take you behind the scenes a little bit. I just wanna also acknowledge the fact that this is not for everyone. Um, don't feel like you have to do any of this. I'm just sharing my experience and that I personally love getting it. Um, just makes me feel good. Okay, so this is like an hour after treatment. My lips are very swollen. <laughs> I always feel so weird after getting lip filler, but I promise they will go down. So I just got anti-wrinkle. And then I got my filler, uh, my lips done. So in a week's time, a week or two, that's when the anti-wrinkle kicks in. Um, and lips should die down in about a week. I feel so weird. Good morning. Thought I'd give you guys a rundown of the sups that I love and I use every day and I've used my whole prep. So I've got my pre-shred. I use this every single morning. This is a fat burner. No, it's not going to burn your fat. You don't need to have supplements, but they do assist if you want them. So I use this before my training sessions for an energy purpose. You can have a shot of coffee. You can have an energy drink. I like to have this. It's got a really nice amount of caffeine. It's sweet. It's delicious. And as I train fasted, I have this with a big cup of water and it almost keeps me a little bit full. Um, so I love the Blue Crush flavor. I also have the watermelon snow cream and then my favorite 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 protein powder of all time i am such a fussy person when it comes to protein is the ehp labs oxyway i have been using this for six years it just blends so well it has a really thick consistency um, i'm very picky because i like to have my protein in oats and my smoothies so it can't be grainy um, so this holds well it's sweet it honestly tastes so good with just a protein shake and water um, so my favorite flavors are probably the chocolate, the vanilla, and the peanut butter puffs. I also use creatine, but they are pretty much the only sups that I use, um, unless I want like some protein mousse or protein custard. But I will leave the link in the... So you can use discount code ELITALIA. But I'm going to have my fat burner. I'm going to go train and... In two weeks, or a week and a half, this will be a margarita. All right fam, the peak week beauty appointments have officially begun. By the way, it is so freaking cold here in Melbourne. Like, I don't know if it's extra cold because I'm at a low body fat percentage or what, but I am literally shaking in my boots. So, first appointment is these brows. I'm gonna get a wax and a dye. Please bear in mind, they're going to be very dark to begin with, but over the span of a week, they will settle and be perfect. So let's do it. All right, eyebrows are fresh. They're looking hella dark right now, I told you guys. But they will definitely fade, but nice and fresh. So first appointment done. I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling so fatigued. Holding this camera is like a struggle right now. I'm so freaking exhausted. Like I said, it's Friday, it's the last day before peak week, and it's by far the toughest. I feel like shit. So anyway, still got posing and stuff to do, so I'm gonna do that, um, but I will check in with you later. I was just posing, hence the outfit. But can we just take a moment? Can we just take a moment? felt so foreign grabbing these things. <laughs> Here is my peak week grocery haul part one. 
So, so weird seeing carbs. <laughs> I'm here for it. Um, I have rice cakes. So I have stocked up on rice cakes because I want to take some to Queensland. Last time when I went for Queensland and all the bodybuilders went at the same time, there was literally no rice cake. So I'm going to be taking some of them. Also stocked up on rice. Again, I just want to find things that I know digest well with me. And if I can't find them in Queensland, then I'll be Devo. So I've just got some for Queensland to take as well. Um, I am having long, long grain white rice. Uh, I also have, will be having jam on the rice cakes. And then I'll have jam on crumpets when I'm at home. So all my days are changing pretty much with macros. So my high carb days, I'll be having crumpets with jam. And then my normal carb days will be rice cakes with the jam. Um, I'm also having oats for breakfast instead of my omelet. So I'm just going to be having oats, which I'm so excited about with a scoop of protein um, and then raspberries. And then my lunch will be just the same as I have been having. So extra lean beef mints cooked in tin tomatoes for some potassium with zucchini, spinach, and I'm gonna be adding sweet potato to those. And then for my dinner, I'll be having chicken tenderloins with rice, uh, lettuce, and avocado. And then my snack will kind of like, at about 3 p.m., I'll have egg whites with peanut butter. Sounds super random, but gotta do what you gotta do. I'm actually looking forward to it. Be tracking all my salt with my meals, having my sodium still, tracking my water. Um, and then over the weekend, this weekend, I'll still be having my omelette before peak week starts on Monday. So I didn't go on a meal plan. We're just eating foods that I'm already eating, just adding a few things in that I haven't had like jam and introducing oats back again. So yeah, exciting times ahead. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode. So this is going to be peak week part one. I'm going to split it up into two sections. So this will be like my peak week at home um, before flying off to the Gold Coast on Wednesday. So it's currently, it is currently Saturday, the 2nd of April at 4, 10 a.m. Sleep has been shit. I've been getting up at about 3 a.m. every day, but that is okay. This time next Saturday, I'll be up getting my tan and my hair and my makeup done for show day, which is just crazy. Um, I've just been reflecting a lot this past week. I've been very, very emotional. Uh, I feel like all my emotions from the past 20 weeks have just fully came out. Uh, not emotional in a negative way, just feeling all the feels. You know, I think... In com prep, it's very masculine and you're constantly suppressing your feelings because you need to grind and just push. So just getting to the end um, and kind of letting that feminine energy come in to play and realizing, wow, like we're really here. I've really done this. And I think it's just very bittersweet because number one, it's sad knowing that it's almost over. But two, just knowing everything I overcame to get to this point and it's so crazy because on stage, people are in the audience and they just see you for like two seconds just doing your thing, but they have no idea what every single individual on that stage has gone through to get to that point, the sacrifice, the dedication. It's just incredible. And um, yeah, I was doing posing the other day and just started bowling my eyes out because I just felt so proud. and. At the start of the week, I caught myself getting into the comparison headspace, which I haven't really done this whole prep. Just naturally it came up and I was looking at other people who were more shredded than me. Um, I didn't feel lean enough. My legs and arms haven't come in. So I was like, oh no. And then, <laughs> and then I really just bought myself back and I remembered the bikini criteria, right? It's not about how shredded you are. The bikini look is about overall shape, and all of that stuff and not only that we're at the point where the work has been done like there's really nothing more you can do so no amount of stress or worry or self-doubt or self-comparison is going to change the outcome so you may as well just celebrate where the fuck you are now and own it because it's not going to change anything it's only going to make it a shitty experience so I'm just embracing where the hell I am. And I know I've done my absolute best. Like I literally have followed the plan completely and there's nothing more that I could do. So if that's not enough on show day for someone, 
like I really don't care because that's all I can physically do, right? So I'm just knowing that I'm already a winner because I have overcome so many things and I'm proud of the physique that I'm bringing to stage, which is such an amazing feeling because last year I didn't want anyone to come and watch me. I didn't tell anyone about when I was on. I didn't want anyone to like watch the live stream. Like I was just so nervous about people seeing me, but I knew I had to rip the bandaid off. And now I'm like, come and watch me. Like I'm so proud of what I'm bringing and I'm just taking that pressure off myself because that's what I was finding. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself and it was very unnecessary. Um, and I was saying on my story how with my posing, I was doubting it the other day because it wasn't as sexy and sassy and flowy as other girls. And I was trying so hard to do that and just felt silly. So what I've done is just owned my style because everyone has different personalities. I'm not a sexy, seductive, you know, person. I'm bubbly, I'm high vibe, I'm happy and smiley. So what I'll be bringing to stage is that. I'll be smiling and not trying to be super sexy because it just looks odd. You know, it's just like a super sexy, seductive person trying to just be like high vibe and really happy. Like everyone's got their own uniqueness. So my advice, if anyone's a competitor watching this, bring yourself to stage, bring your own character, bring your uniqueness. Is that a word? <laughs> We're using it and just show what you have. And I feel like it's just gonna flow so much more naturally. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. I'm so ready, I'm ready. And I just feel so at peace and so chill. And you know, I just haven't been stressing. It's been so fucking nice. Like I'm just slowly packing, slowly doing things where my anxiety mind used to have to do things like a month before pack, like get organized and just like give myself unnecessary stress. So. Just chill, taking it day by day. Um, but yeah, so we are officially in peak week, but the peak week, peak week plan pretty much starts from Monday. So I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of that. Guys, it's so dark right now, like they're gonna fade, so don't stress. I'm talking, my, I'm talking to myself right now. But yeah, they're hella dark, but they'll be perfect by Sunday. All right, so this is my coach's response. So he said, I'm looking freaking incredible which is really nice to hear because my coach is the type of coach that doesn't give you praise unless it's true. So I haven't really got too much praise this whole prep. So now that he said I'm looking incredible, like I believe him. <laughs> so he said, you're looking freaking incredible and I feel like you're looking lean enough so we can shift the focus to recovery mode, filling you out across the coming week. I don't want to lose any detail in your physique and you have to remember that you aren't a bodybuilder, you're a bikini competitor. So the increase in carbs won't be huge, but rather the focus will be on reducing stress coming into the show and assessing how your physique is looking uh, without overthinking things. And he did without overthinking things in bold. I asked him, do you have any advice for nerves coming out on stage? Because he's competed before quite a few years ago. Because um, if I'm going to be honest, you guys, the thing I'm stressing about most right now the only thing really that I'm stressing about is that walkout on stage. I can't actually describe the feeling I got last year. It was actually a horrible, gut-wrenching feeling. Um, <laughs> if you're a competitor, you know. It's just this shock and you feel very out of control. Um, I don't know if it's just because it was my first time. I do know that I still will feel the nerves. I just got to be able to control them a bit better. So I asked him. He said, my advice is nerves is to have a fireball or tequila shot before you get on stage. Roughly, roughly 30 minutes pre. Um, this isn't typical for everyone, but it can help a bit. So I think I might have a fireball shot before I go on stage. I feel like that might help, help my nerves. I might be a little bit drunk though, so I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so. We jumped on a call yesterday as well, just to have a little bit of a tap. Um, talk about the strategy. So as he said, I'm not a bodybuilder. I don't need to do these hectic carbs up, uh, carb ups. And to be honest, I'm not a very super shredded person right now. So sometimes doing a carb up can do a lot more harm than good because you can overspill and you can just get bloated and watery. If you're a super shredded human who's like an IFBB, then they generally would do a bigger carb up. But for me, 
there's just no point because I feel like I'd probably get more bloated. So we're going to be front loading. So our carb loading peaking method will be a front load, meaning we're gonna be having the carbs at the start of the week. The reason we're doing this is to slowly introduce the carbs because my body hasn't been used to high carbs. Last show day, I had a backload of carbs where I had carbs before the show. And I found that on show day, I was very bloated and my stomach actually was an excruciating pain. So the idea here as well is to take photos every day and if my body's not responding well, we can pull back from carbs. If I'm looking too flat, we can increase carbs. So that's the idea is doing slow increments. Um, so what we, we will be doing is um, on Saturday and Sunday, everything's gonna maintain the same. I'm actually not doing any training this weekend, which is so weird, but I'm okay. Um, cardio is just my 15,000 steps. I've already done my cardio for the week. And then on Monday, my carbs will be increased to 200 grams per day. That's the highest my carbs are getting for my carb up, which is very nice considering how much I have been on, to be honest. Um, so my sodium intake on that day is gonna be slightly higher. My fluid is going to be still around the water I'm already having, which is around five liters. Um, I'm doing a lower body training session. I'm doing 25 minute stairs and bringing steps down to 10,000. The following day, Tuesday, I'll be having 170 gram of carbs. Sodium is going to be slightly higher, maintaining that fluid. I'll be doing a shoulder and back workout, 25 minute stairs and 10,000 steps. And then on Wednesday, that's when I leave to Gold Coast, we're bringing carbs back down to 140 grams. We are just maintaining the sodium that I've been having, maintaining the fluid I've been having, a glute and core workout, and then just 10,000 steps, no cardio. Um, and then for Thursday and Friday, carbs are brought back down to 125 grams, still more than what I'm currently having this week. Um, I'll be doing two circuits, for those days, not two in one day, just one each day. Um, and then I'll just be doing 8,000 steps. So we're just slowly tapering back. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. And then on like Friday and Thursday, like we might change things. So I'm gonna be sending photos every day. And if I'm you know needing to make changes, then I will. Um, and then on show day, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. I'll have to see what D says, but I have made my own meal plan now. I am a bit nervous about that, but Denver said like, there's no point me giving you a meal plan with all these different food when you've been eating the same foods this whole time. And he's like, you've literally been on a meal plan this whole time. Even though I've chose my own foods, I've had the same thing. So I'm like, that's true. So what I'm gonna be having for the week, I spent the day right now, like today, and it's just the egg white omelet I've been having. These are my low days. I've been having peanut butter with rice cakes extra lean beef mints with zucchini, spinach, tin tomatoes. I've been having a protein shake. And then my dinner is just sweet potato, lettuce, chicken tenderloins, perinase, and avocado. But as of next week, I'm gonna be introducing oats, which I am so excited about. Um, and then I'm gonna have a crumpet, two crumpets with jam. So this is on my high carb day. I'll be having for lunch, extra lean beef mints, tin tomato, spinach, sweet potato, zucchini. Um, snack will be egg whites and peanut butter. Just need to hit those macros, you guys. And then dinner is rice, chicken tenderloin, avocado, lettuce. So cutting out all artificial sweeteners. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit nervous just because I feel like I'm responsible for making this meal plan and it's all on me. Um, but I guess we're just gonna play it by ear and see how things digest. This morning I've woken up very gassy and bloated and I don't know why, I don't know where it's come from. Um, not bloated where I'm looking super bloated, but you know when you can just feel it? So not sure what the dealio there is. But yeah, this Pickwick vlog's probably gonna be more about chatting. And then in the next one, I'll kind of take you to the airport, take you through what I'm eating, my grocery shop when I go to Queensland, cause there's a lot happening when I go to Queensland. Um, but for now, the plan of attack is to get to all my appointments. So today I'm getting my hair extensions changed. I want them longer, I want them straight. Um, I'll, I'll run you guys through that um, and then what else so I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go to gym now I'm gonna do my steps no training doing a lot of posing um, and then tomorrow like I said nails and then before we leave hair eyelashes 
all of that jazz, but far out, I can't believe we're here. I just, I can't wait to reflect um, up in Queensland or even after the show, I might do a bit of a chat and save it for then, even though I feel like I have so much to say. But energy at this stage is extremely up and down. It's actually insane seeing how much your energy is just up and down. Like I'm finding that I actually have less energy in the morning and I have more energy in the afternoon, which is just so weird for me. Um, but yesterday was extremely tough. I actually felt like a zombie walking around. Like it was the most fatigue I've felt. Um, but yeah, I'm now tapering back from just chilling back with everything really. With peak week, you just wanna be as chill and not stress as possible. So even though this plan is very different to what I've seen with other people, like me pulling back from you know, training now and not doing any intense cardio, like all of these things, it's like, oh, should I be pushing more? Um, but you've just gotta trust your coach. You've just gotta trust the process. And yeah, so I'm gonna to go to gym and then I'm gonna come back and head down to my gorgeous hair extension lady Jess, my client actually. Um, it's such a beautiful drive and yeah, I'll take you through that. But how cute is this set? So this set is from Crop Shop Boutique. Love it. So every prep, I have like a song of the entire prep and this is my current one. So it's Sia Unstoppable and it just hits me in the feels every time and it's just such a powerful song. So now every time this song comes on after comp, it brings me back to my prep and I have that memory of last year with another song and yeah, like. I feel like crying every time I listen to it. So yeah, oh, the emotions are flooding in again. All right, so here are my new extensions. The reason I got new extensions was because um, the ones that I got previously, they were 20 inch and they were naturally wavy ones. And I just found that they didn't blend as well being naturally wavy. Like I felt like I could see more of my natural hair. So I got new ones installed um, from Maiden Hair Extensions, which are incredible. The quality feels unreal. These are 24 inch and they're straight, but I got them cut a little bit i still might get them cut a little more when i get my hair dyed on tuesday but honestly i'm so happy the quality feels amazing like so silky so nice I'm very happy okay we are on to the next beauty appointment so today i'm getting my nails done I hate getting my nails done i hate the feeling and especially because i work on my phone and computer cannot stand it but they're gonna look good 
Okay, nails are all done. I don't know if you can see them. That was such a stuff around. Thank Lord. I didn't have any other things on today. I left it for a Sunday. So I went to this nail salon that I was booked in at. And then I got there and apparently the lady yeah, wasn't... Was sorry. The lady wasn't working there today. So then I had to go to another salon where she was actually working. And then wait like an hour and a half for her. So ended up getting there in the end. Like it was so fine. I just listened to a podcast. But lucky like I didn't have back to back bookings. Cause, like tomorrow I've got lashes and then posing and then like so much on. Um, so I'm glad that it's done. Good morning YouTube fam. So it is Monday, the, what is the day? The 4th of April. Um, so this is like the official peak week. So I am just getting up. I'm about to do, go do a light leg session. Um, I've got 25 minutes of stairs today because it's my higher calf day. Um, and I'll also just be doing 10,000 steps. So I'm just gonna run you through what I'm eating today for my high carb day. Um, I have cut out my fat burner, sad reacts only, um, and I'm going to be having a shot of coffee, which I haven't had like real coffee pretty much this whole prep. I don't really like having coffee because it gives me anxiety, but you girl needs some energy to get through this session. So let's do this. By the way, my sleep has been so shit. I was up every single hour last night. I reckon I probably had about four and a half hours sleep. And it's such a shit feeling because you know how important sleep is. Like I know the importance of it, especially for this last week. Yet I just have so much on my mind. Um, so it's going to be very interesting. I was, I've been up since like 2.30 today. It's currently 4 a.m. Just done my chicken photos. And yeah, let's have this coffee. So meal one is just 56 grams of quick oats. I've got a scoop of protein powder, egg whites, and some fresh raspberries on top. Yum, so excited for this. Next meal is two crumpets with some strawberry jam. Look. Next meal is sweet potato with zucchini, and then my extra link beef mince cooked in tin tomatoes with spinach. Next meal is an egg white omelet with peanut butter. Super random, but gotta hit those macros and it's giving me crepe vibes. Last meal of the day is long grain white rice. It is so nice to see rice on my plate. I've got chicken tenderloins and just lettuce, avocado, salt, and some lemon squeezed on top. Just about to jump on a posing session with my girl Jules. This will be my last at home posing session. And then I have, um, a face-to-face -face posing session with her on the Gold Coast. I actually have two, so I'm really looking forward to that. But oh my God, I am so fatigued and exhausted. So the thought of doing this posing lesson is just like, it's a lot. So hopefully I can channel some of Jules's energy <laughs> to get me through. But um, yeah, let's get this done. Okay, I've just done the posing session and it was actually really good and I soaked up some of Jules' energy. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good with my posing. It's come so far. Um, so just got to keep practicing and yeah, she's flowing nicely. Now let's go get these lashes done. So I'm just getting a refill. I just get classic lashes. Let's go. All done. Love, love, love. So I am now just on my way to my next appointment at the clothing alteration shop because on Friday I tried my bikini on for the last time and it was just still too tight. I was really hoping that it would come in by my legs would come in and they haven't unfortunately. So I was like panic mode and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take it to the clothing alteration place because it was digging into my hip and it just didn't look good. So, I am very nervous. I hope that it's all good. Um, I'm going to go pick up my bikini bottoms now and let's see how they're... 
Alfie watching me pose. He jumped up on this stool and he just sits here like a human. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Pepe. Hey, beautiful. Aww. Hey, Nuggy. Good morning, you beautiful souls. Okay, so. I woke up 67.4 after my high carb day, so I was about 400 grams up or 300 grams up, um, but I'm feeling so much better than yesterday. Energy is still not super high, but I will say I am feeling a lot better, a lot more grounded and excited. It's just so funny because it's just like so up and down at this stage. Yesterday, um, I just wasn't feeling amazing. Just like overall, like just wasn't feeling great. Um, but today I have made a choice to wake up feeling amazing and just owning where I'm at and being so present because I've worked so hard to get to this point so I just want it to be amazing. So I'm going to be eating the same things that I ate yesterday, just lower amounts, so less rice um, and rice cakes instead of crumpets. Um, but I'm still having my oats and everything. Everything seemed to digest well. I've woken up looking pretty lean. Um, I was able to go to the toilet this morning, so we're on track. Um, I leave for Gold Coast tomorrow and I can't wait. So what I'll do today is I will finish up this vlog. I will show you my hair. That's pretty much the last thing I need to do. I've packed everything. Just need to get the dogs organized because they're going away tomorrow. Um, and then just like little last minute things, getting all my clients set up, my beautiful clients who massive shout out to you guys. You guys have just made this amazing i'm so blessed so i will show you my hair that is my hair all done i ended up getting it cut so it's sitting about here i'm in love so good so fresh so that is the last of my peak week appointments. I'm now gonna go home and eat because that took four hours. I got there at nine. It's now 1.28, so your girl is very hungry. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna eat, um, just finalize last minute things, ensure my clients are all good, and then I wake up and go tomorrow. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you so much for watching, you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for you know coming on this journey with me. Can't take uh, wait to take you through peak week the rest of it in Queensland so let's go baby